WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White at TFNN. And, of course, what do we have? Well, one more attempt uh, to uh, go to the highs. Uh, in that attempt on the gap lower this morning, we really have a, had, I'm going to call it fairly poor volume, uh, up to as um, basically unchanged on the NASDAQ and the S&P. So they tried to drive it back up. Uh, we've got about eight billion shares right now the volume was very tepid to push back up and then of course uh, the failure and the reversal if you've listened to my show i've been talking about what i suspect to be a blow-off top in the market this one a lot of times they just come a little faster than this um, the longer they generally take the bigger they tend to be um so that, you know, it just didn't go up there and sell off and then that was it. Uh, generally connotes uh, a little bit more going on. Of course, uh, the big news is uh, everybody talking about earnings in the market. And as far as I can tell, basically what I said yesterday on the show, too, and that was everybody was uh, anticipating that the same action that we saw in Metamucil uh, uh, slash Facebook uh, would transport to everything else. Then we got to Apple last night and some of the other ones that were lower. Uh, but uh, the Apple numbers weren't that good. Um, they had the uh, earnings call. And everybody tried to tell us that uh, the sky was green and not blue. Uh, that the uh, sun comes out at night, goes to uh, sleep during the day. We'll talk about what I think is the big lie out here, at least one of them that I caught uh, in the earnings call for Apple. We'll see the rest of it, but um, if you uh, are unfamiliar with the blow-off top, I suspect that's what we have here. Hang on, we'll be uh, back with the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.